North Gear 2020 Premier League. What were the reasons behind setting this up? Well, we wanted to build the uh, second uh, division of uh, 2020 uh, cricket in uh, England, in the UK. And we uh, thought that uh, using the Premier League platform was, was the right place to go. And uh, at the same time, we would like to put the local grounds on the uh, local co community's uh, sporting map and uh, bring more uh, revenue to, uh, to, the, to the clubs as such. We're very pleased to have the support of the ECB, uh, as well as uh, we have a broadcasting uh, contract with Sky Sports. They will be televising the uh, Grand Finals Day, uh, which is on the 30th of September, where the four uh, top teams will meet uh, to fight for, uh, for the prize money of £5,000. got a, a very youthful side full of uh, young big hitters so the 2020 really suits our, uh, our squad. We've had lots of new uh, sponsors, people who have seen 2020 on the telly, they like to come down and see our coloured kits and see lots of big hits. We think we've got a good chance in this area, um, obviously uh, we're realistic, we don't expect to win the national tournament but uh, we're just hoping to get as far as we can. Well we're using the first format, playing in coloured clothing and um, that's also the reason why we think that uh, there is such a huge interest for the format as such, for the competition as such. We are planning uh, to be um, spending the next three years building this uh, competition to have 96 clubs playing. Um, and um, we might be more than 96 clubs um, because there might be this and the, one of the other clubs wanting to come in. Uh, on top of that, but uh, 96 clubs is where we want to go, and we uh, we believe that that is uh, feasible, and that it will also bring a very, very, very interesting uh, competition in the future, and also an interesting competition for the local society to come and watch uh, at the grounds, uh, bring families and uh, kids and all sorts down, and uh, have a good time. Well, I think that the first format and uh, the uh, coloured clothing gives the players a lot of pace and um, they um, sort of feel like professionals and it's, uh, it's up there where you, and you can hear the crowd, you know, it's, it's, it's up and the, at the county level. Unfortunately, we're not yet uh, hundreds of people here, but there should be about 200 to 250 people here today. But we will get in the thousands in the, in the, in the next couple of years, I'm sure of that, uh, because this format is going to go places. We're building the second division of... Uh, 2020 cricket in England uh, on the platform of Premier League, so it's going to be strong. There will be a lot of interest coming towards every club that participate in this competition, playing in the coloured clothing first format, better revenue for the clubs participating, that's for sure, and also more fun and motivated audience from the local society will come down and support. We've embraced it from you know from day one really you know we were excited about the concept um, you know we're a very forward-thinking club um, you know and the opportunity to get more people interested in cricket and watching at our place you know is something that you know is exciting to us all. I think the beauty of 2020 with the coloured kit, the different colour balls, the shorter format, you know it gives people a chance to go out and express themselves and. You know, cricket generally is not a huge spectator sport at club level, so to turn up and play in front of two, three, four hundred people is going to be exciting for us all. We play our next game on Friday night and, you know, we'll have a sponsors day and it'll give the guys that sponsor the club, it'll give them chance to invite people that they work with along. So, you know, it kind of introduces new people to the club and it also is a good networking opportunity for some of the sponsors as well. I think uh, 2020 sort of, it makes you realise um, how far you can expand your game, to be honest. Um, I know playing for, for Somerset, we have a lot of practice sessions, basically just stretching the boundaries of what we think was possible. You know, maybe a decade ago, you know, 350 overs was not possible. I think with 2020 coming into the game, we're seeing regular scores of 350 in county cricket in 50 overs, and obviously um, being a part of the side that you know scored the the world record 250 against Gloucester was um, you know it's just stretching the boundaries of what's possible as a batsman, which is which is great and great for the crowd. Well, obviously, you know, playing county cricket 2020 has been been fantastic. We finished our campaign. 
and um, you know I spend a lot of my days off watching uh, Uphill Castle play and it's great to have the opportunity to turn out for them for, for their campaign in the 2020. Certainly what I've seen over the, you know my 10 years playing professional cricket is club cricket standard in general has has gone up with uh, you know the odd overseas player here and there and you know, I think you know the guys that play for the club teams like Uphill they watch the county game and you know they want to emulate what we're doing and I think over the last decade certainly they're, they're getting closer to, to, to what we're doing and this can only bring them forward I think. We're very happy to have Justin Langer here today. Uh, we're trying to build the second division of uh, 2020 cricket in England, uh, in the UK. So it's, it's great to have uh, Justin coming along and uh, enjoy the day with us. I can understand why it's taking the world by storm. It's good fun, uh, lots of colour and entertainment and you know music and just it, it um, goes out to a much broader audience than perhaps not normal cricket does. So I can understand absolutely why it's taken the world by storm. I think it'll promote people to play cricket, which is a positive thing. Whether it becomes a professional thing, you know, I'm not sure about that. But um, you know, who knows? I mean, it gives people an opportunity to be playing cricket. It's over quickly, and everyone seems to enjoy it. It was really amazing. It was a great experience just to be involved with, and obviously to get the wicket of. Yes, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. for the viewers and everybody else that obviously didn't realise that, uh, so walk, walk me through it really. I was trying to get the ball full and straight, hopefully right. he would miss it. Usually it would be out of the park I would expect, but yeah, I was quite lucky, got an inside edge and yeah, middle stump out of the ground. One to tell the grandkids I expect. I mean, from our side, we're doing our utmost best to make this competition professionally organised. It's hard work and we're learning day by day uh, the hard way as well. We've seen some fantastic 2020 cricket, and that's where this uh, league must uh, go. And that's where we have to. That's why we want to continue our good job, and that's why we want to be working harder into the com communities to get more people coming down and watch this fantastic game.